So you just got your Starlink kit and are ready to join the satellite internet revolution. But before you start drilling holes in your roof or running cables through your living room, hold up. Many new Starlink users make the same setup mistakes that can tank performance or even cost you money down the line. Today, I'll walk you through the most common Starlink setup mistakes and how to avoid them. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Alejandro from Broadband Now, where we review internet gear and help you get the most out of your setup. If you're about to install Starlink, this video will save you some headaches. If you'd like to see more Starlink content or router reviews, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss out. Starlink needs a completely clear view of the sky. No trees, no overhangs, not even power lines in the way. If your dish is blocked, you'll see random dropouts, buffering during streams, or lag spikes during video calls. The app even has a tool that shows you obstructions in real time, so use it before you mount the dish. Some users try to keep the dish low for convenience, like in the backyard or on a short stand. That might work short term, but Starlink was designed for rooftops or poles with a wide open sky. Low placement means more interference, snow buildup, or even curious pets missing with your cable. Starlink gives you a long outdoor rated ethernet cable, but here's the catch, it still has to get inside. Too many users run it through doors or windows, which damages the cable over time and kills your connection. Instead, Drill a clean entry point or use a proper cable pass-through kit. A little extra effort saves a lot of frustration later. The Starlink dish and cable are weatherproof. The router and power supply, not so much. They need to stay indoors. If you leave them outside, even under a covered patio, you're asking for water damage and expensive replacements. Keep those pieces inside where they're dry and safe. Starlink's app isn't just there for installation, it's your best friend for troubleshooting. It tells you where to point the dish, whether you have obstructions, it even gives you real-time signal health. Skipping it is like driving without a GPS. Always use the app during setup and check it again if your connection drops later. Quick tip, test your speeds right after setup in multiple spots around your home. If you see sudden drops, it's usually a placement or obstruction issue, not the dish itself. So here's the bottom line. Starlink works best when you set it up right the first time. Avoid obstructions, mount it high, plan your cable entry, keep the router indoors, and don't skip the app. Do these things and you'll get the fast, stable satellite internet Starlink promises. Thanks for watching. If you found these tips helpful, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more internet product reviews and troubleshooting guides. See you next time.